right. It's another day. We woke up. Hey, that's a we're, good feeling. Hey, we're grateful. We wake up. It's a good day. Means we get to do another episode of your daily scrum. Todd, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm great. I love the fact that each and every day we get together to put out a new episode that hopefully helps people do scrum just a little bit better. Uh, Todd and I wrote a book together, Fixing Your Scrum, Practical Solutions to Common Scrum Problems. Check that out and classes and our website, all that stuff in the description below. Like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Leave us a comment with your thoughts or questions. Your questions typically turn into videos. Did all you, right. Including Today, this one. Yeah. When does a scrum master get involved in a project? Now, Todd, there's some background to this mm -hmm. that I think you have, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a um, really, this is asking at what point is it a couple weeks in like at what point does a scrum master really should they be involved when a product development effort is kicking off has kicked off will kick off might kick off and and so just kind of in general we're, we might be building this product when does the scrum master once we get a scrum master involved yeah and i think um we gotta be super careful here this is a this is one of those questions where um, I think scrum masters get involved in too many places from what I see, Todd, from my practice. And I was one of those where, oh, you're having a, a problem coming up with a good release plan. Let me do that for you. Oh, the product backlog is a mess. Let me order that for you. And, and really knowing as a scrum master when to get involved, I think that's one of those critical unspoken skills. Mm -hmm. and, and basically what I had to learn to do was I will get involved when the team can no longer make progress, mm -hmm. right? That was one of my swing thoughts. It was if they're stuck and they're just thrashing, uh, I'm not going to let them thrash for long. And so I might pop in, but even then I'm going to resist the urge to resolve their problem, but maybe ask a question that could nudge them in a good direction or perhaps offer to facilitate. Let me grab a marker and a whiteboard and let's, let's walk through some pros and cons. Maybe I can help you know, bring some transparency to the situation. But those decisions I never took lightly. And I was never in a, in a super rush. And I never felt the need to insert myself into a situation. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what do you think? I think that this really depends on where the organization's at. Um, All right. Tell me more. Yeah. So I've been a scrum master in organizations that are just beginning their, um, just beginning to use scrum. And uh, the first inclination there was you can't pass a budget unless all the requirements are figured out. And I, I, I helped work with the product owner to push back on that and say, listen, the requirements on this are going to be emergent. We're not going to spend $100,000 gathering requirements. We're going to spend $100,000 working and doing and building increments. And that was one moment in time in that organization that was very new to it. And so budgeting had to change. Roles had to change. Barriers had to be broken down um, to form a cross-functional team because it was all really siloed and matrixed. And so I worked really diligently explaining the why, what we were trying to do and, and trying to make it so that we had an environment where Scrum could succeed, right? Um, but that was based on the context of that situation. You could be working in an organization that has Scrum for 10 years and there's a new team that's getting ready to form, or maybe they're forming, and then maybe you hop in and start resolving impediments and finding the, the, the context of the situation that you're working in. Um, I, I don't want to say it, it depends because I do think Scrum Masters should be involved fairly early in, in, the, um, in, in the, maybe even the instantiation of a budget, um, but they shouldn't be taking control of it, right? It's still, you should have a product owner there that's the one that's influencing and owning that budget, and you should be working with them just to make sure that the organization uh, is setting up the scrum team that is about to uh, embark on this product development effort um, for success. Yeah. What I pulled away from that is really it's when the impediments appear, that's mm -hmm. when we spring into action, right? Mm -hmm. Regardless of context, uh, mm -hmm. when those impediments pop up, like in your case, when the budget is just causing us some issues, we got to spring into action, whether that's working with finance or working with the product owner, you know, finance to, to work on the budgeting practice or the product owner on how to get a basic product backlog together. I like that. I think that's a good kind of a trigger or an indicator of when to get involved is that that emergence of the of the impediment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So when does a scrum master get involved? I and I think my initial thought here, I, I like how you pulled this out too, 
Um, don't conflate getting involved with controlling. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Right? You like control that. little to nothing as a scrum master in scrum. Nothing about the role is really about you. Uh, your agenda, your um, your goals, all those things are secondary. And just keep that in mind that, yeah, this is not about controlling something. It's about getting involved to help uh, clear the way to enable yeah. and empower others to be successful. And I think uh, if you keep those principles and ideas in mind, um, regardless of context or situation, you're probably going to be okay. Yeah, I like it. All end right. screen time. I, I've always wanted to say end screen time. <laughs> you did it. And that's, <laughs> did where we, it. and that's where you can find all of our socials. Like and subscribe. Check out the videos below. Don't don't be one of those people. We, we've got so many messages about, hey, when did the new Kanban video drop? Well, it was a week ago. Oh, I missed it. It's like like and subscribe so you never miss it. Uh, check out the comments section. There's a lot of great people in there adding their thoughts, helping each other out. Join mm -hmm. the conversation. Leave us your questions. Check out the description for more information about Todd and I. Um, you know what, though? Take this idea, Scrum Masters especially. Go forward. Do good things. Help your Scrum practices get a little bit better. And we'll be back, hopefully, tomorrow. See you.